Your solar arc system is essentially a piece of technology. Very advanced, very powerful. However, like most pieces of technology, say your computer at home, when it messes up, one of the first things you can do to assist or maybe alleviate the problem is to turn the whole system off and on again. Now, this is only for the most extreme situations. However, we have found it helpful in the past to know how to fully de-energize the system and then proceed to re-energize the system after. To power down the system entirely, we are going to open up our inverter and look at the inside. On the right hand side, we have our three main AC breakers. On the left hand side, we have our battery breaker, our solar disconnect on the left hand side, and the large blue button in the middle. These are all different aspects of what we're going to do here in a particular order to best shut down and restart your device. In this process, you will lose power to your critical loads or if off grid, your whole home as this will fully power down and cut the connection between the two sources. Step one will be to turn off power from the grid or gen, depending on what you're using or both if you're using both. In this case, we only have grid hooked up and gen is currently off. We will leave gen in the off position and we will turn grid to the off position. This will fully put your critical loads onto a battery and sever the connection between your device and its point of interconnection. We then will turn off our loads breaker. Now the loads breaker will turn off the power and in this case it will turn off the lights in this room as they are located on the critical loads panel. You can see once we turn that off we lose all power to the critical loads uh, panel and if we look at our display screen all we see left is power coming from our solar and going into our batteries. We want to slow or sorry not slow but stop all power from moving through our system and fully power this down. So we turn the PV disconnect to the off position and you can see how there's no power flowing anymore. We can press the big blue button and that should toggle out. At that point your display may just turn off or it will display the words off on it when you can then turn off your battery disconnect. The whole point of this is before we throw this switch we like to make sure there's no power moving through the system as that's the safest way to utilize this breaker. In an emergency that can be utilized under load but normally we want to throw this breaker only when powered down. To then finally turn off all power into the system we can turn off our battery. Your battery may or may not have a power switch like this on it or it may have breakers on it or a different form of disconnect depending on the models that you purchased. Now we are fully de-energized. We have no power flowing through our system. If we would also throw our AC disconnect outside, we could also make it so these grid wires coming in are no longer hot. And if we were to throw our disconnect out at our solar array, if there is one, that would make it so these solar wires are no longer hot. As of right now, the ends of both wires are still energized, but the energy is not flowing through the system at all. To turn the system back on, we essentially do the reverse process of what we did to get to this point. First, by turning our battery back on, whether that be with a disconnect, a button, or otherwise. I like to let things be able to think for a second and we will let that battery kind of boot up over maybe 10 seconds or so and get back to a normal display page.
This particular model beeps like that when it's reactivated. We will then turn the battery breaker back on, followed by the big blue button. Now, in a moment, that off should disappear once we turn our other things on. I'm going to turn the PV disconnect back to the on position, which is that horizontal orientation. We can then proceed to turn on our grid and our load breakers. If the gen breaker is utilized, you'd want to turn that back on as well. And in just a moment here, not only should we have lights return to us, but we should see arrows resume operation on the front screen here in just a matter of potentially up to five minutes, but more typically than not, it happens within the next minute or so. We can see now from our display screen that we've resumed normal operation. We see power coming in from our solar panels. In this case, we have power coming in from our grid, powering both our loads, and charging our battery. And that's it. We've powered down and restarted our Solar device. And hopefully that solved any issues that we may have been having. If not, please contact us and or Solark, whose number you can find in the manual or online.